Stevenson, 11 years younger, same height, same weight, similar reach, but when it comes to defensive superlatives. He was born in Puerto Rico, then he spent a lot of time in New Jersey. He was in Patterson, New Jersey, up until he was about 10 years old. Has a lot of family in Jersey, a lot of family in Philly. Dedicated dreamer, but supremely skilled to deliver on those dreams. Such a special relationship with his grandfather. Receive your instructions, Joshua. Okay, it's got a wide band here. All right, this is good. It was low. Right here is good, and this is low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. Let's go with the next chapter to be written. Book of Shakur Stevenson, managed by our ESPN broadcaster Andre Ford, who has recused himself from calling the fight. So it's Joe Tessator and Tim Bradley. Glad you're with us here. The return of live boxing under COVID-19. You know what? Right now, it's funny because I like what I'm seeing from Kyra, Bi Kyra Bio right now. He's pressing on the gas pedal. You know, taking risks, he's going to have to sell out. And he knows that, and he's getting right to Shakur Stevenson at the moment. You just want to continue to get contact on him. You know, that's a great point, Tim. And sometimes it's grossly undervalued in what you say. Just land, just throw, yeah. just try to get anything going. You always talk about that no, ability to find perfect range and distance with Stevenson. He gets off a four-punch combination, including a right hand to the body. Great at managing distance with, from his opponent. And he can fight at any quarter. He can fight in the pocket. He can fight at mid-range, and he also can fight outside. But right now, he's being an aggressive dog. You're right, the hand speed. You can see the skill level is different. But Carabao, you can tell he's tough. He's taking a lot of leather on the way in just to get one shot. Reminder, fanless atmosphere with COVID-19 protocols at the MGM Grand Conference Center, but you hear the murmur in the background and you can join in that with Hear Me Cheer on any device. Go to ESPN.HearMeCheer.com. A knockdown by Tony Weeks. There's a possibility, test that their feet got tangled because that typically happens when you have a right-handed fighter versus a southpaw. See, every time Caraballo sits there with the earmuffs on and sits mid-range and don't do anything, you see what Shakur Stevenson does. Two times, two for two. It's unbelievable. That's a knockdown. That's a body punch knockdown. It's a knockdown. If I ever read this Hear Me Cheer That's again, a I'm going to pull my hair out. That's a knockdown. It's a mm, body punch That's a knockdown. knockdown. Absolutely. Round number two in that first round, Shakur Stevenson scoring a knockdown with a body punch. He was effective with his punching in that first round, landing 22 of 47 power punches thrown. Yes, Tess, I thought that their feet might have got tangled up. Doubling up that right hand, the right hand to the body. Scoring the knockdown in round number one. The accuracy is just sublime, Timmy. He's so accurate and effective in placing yes. his punches. And there is that power hand, the left hand to the body now. But you see where he's choosing to be. Shakur wants to be on the outside, he'll maintain out to outside distance. If he wants to be on the inside, he can fight in close quarters as well. So if guys think that they're just going to come inside with this young man, no, you got something coming. He has great offense in the inside as well. Ooh, he oh, that hurt. right hand was clipping. He drove that right hand down, and now Stevenson has Caraballo in trouble. Left hand to the head. Showing that power, Tess. Taking those steps forward. Look at the hand speed, and now sitting down a little more and looking for the shot and finding it. So effective with that left hand moments ago. Being left there, comes back with a check right hook. Three punch combination. From That's Stevenson. exactly what he wanted, Tess. He wanted to get on the outside to land that backhand. He wanted to get full extension on his punches to be able to hurt Carabao. Covered up and Shakur lets loose with the three punch combination. Get it. 
and the two. It's on the throat, yeah. I, I, but I think the story of that fight were the power punches by, the story of that round, the power That's punches good. by Shakur. Of course, expectation that Shakur Stevenson will show power tonight against Caraballo. He has so far in that last round, second round, he landed 29 of 55 power punches thrown. When we talked to him about how he thought the fight would play out, Timmy, he said, I think I'll be able to set him up and size him up in three and then get rid of him in four. Caraballo hitting him down to the head and the body. He's catching him before he gets to where he needs to be to be successful, and that's the inside. Double left hand right there from Shakur Stevenson. This is target practice. Splitting the guard with that left hand, then wrapped it around, but more useful. Carabao, to say this test, one and two give. mark, and we told you he had won five straight and what he perhaps isn't. And early on in this fight, he tried to put forth a strategy that would counter that. But Stevenson, so accurate, so skilled, and on target. You know, he told us in the fighter meeting, he said, you know, I want to sit down more on my shots. I want to press forward. I want to take a little bit more chances because I want to be impressive to the fans. Hensry, Hensry. Yes. <laughs> Made the comment that I do have to get guys out of there. And that he wants to surpass what very... others have done in the sport without having to play the villain role. And that means to him being the best fighter and being entertaining. Winning a world championship at featherweight. I mean, you're talking about a guy who can go multi-divisional world championships, yes. you know, carrying weight upwards towards 140. Who knows, by the end of his career, 147. But you can start to see so that the Shakur Stevenson, just the fourth U.S. fighter in the last 20 years, to win both an Olympic boxing medal and a world title. You see the power punches through three rounds, dominating form. This a non-title fight at 130 pounds for Stevenson. He said, boxing is back. I want to be back with it. And first in the main event. Would have been a title defense against Miguel Mariaga. They'll postpone due to that first week of the shutdowns due to COVID-19. The way Shakur Stevenson is boxing, but he wants him to continue to work the jab, go to the body, but not walk straight back. He wants him to set him up as he comes stop, stop, forward and then walk him into a big shot. The grandfather and trainer of Shakur Stevenson. They have a dynamic relationship. Come on, hands free, hands free. Keep Carabao out outside. Make him rush and make a mistake and then make him pay so he can get a clear shot on him. Mark Kriegel, what say you? coming to terms with how do you get there? I understand being a young kid and saying, I'm the next Floyd, I'm the next Sugar Ray. The question though, and it's a, it's a pretty deep question, how do you get there without imitating someone else? And how do you get there if you are a slick fighter and not not playing the villain? This is, this is a, a question that we dealt with earlier in the broadcast, uh, confront Shakur Stevenson or he's going to have to confront. Make great fights, be dynamic, be entertaining, and be you, most hands importantly. Free, free. And that's what Shakur has talked about. Be authentically but, you. But the problem Shakur isn't him, Stevenson, the problem is the system. Shakur Stevenson is incredibly likable. Don't put the hand on yeah. him. Doing truly is, really Jess. well to the body no. here in this fourth round, Timmy. Yes, he is, and that's that's where he needs to go down and continue to soften up Caraballo. He needs to continue to beat on the body, beat on the arms to bring those hands down. Right hand was nice, Jimmy. Mm. Timmy, there was some nice work from Shakur in that last round. Yeah, what I want to what I want to show you guys is is that and make them miss and then make them pay is the beauty. It's what I've been talking about. This is why this young man is so, so good. He does this all night long. Round number five in our scheduled 
10 round non-title fight. Hey, if you get 50% of power punches, there's gonna be a knockout score. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Most of the time, Tess. You know, I like the head placement right there from Shakur Stevenson getting his head on the outside, not keeping it down the middle. Just it's great the first main event of what will be the new look summer it's, it's, series of top ranked boxing on mm. ESPN with the COVID-19 protocols. We are bringing you fights this month every Tuesday and Thursday, live fights on ESPN. And as was announced tonight, a special attraction on Pound World Champion, Emmanuel Navarrete. So next week, three nights of live fight action on ESPN. Oh, hands free, hands free. As we will turn right around and bring you more fights from Vegas. Carabao looking for body work on the inside. Instead, he eats me. No, watch that now. Stevenson backing up and able to land a left hand as he retreats. Now the uppercut on the inside as Carabao was leaning forward. Carabao still not doing anything to get to where oh, he needs to be. Oh, what a combination, be. Timmy. Absolutely. Shakur Stevenson fights when he wants to fight, gets out when he wants to get out, and box on the outside. But right now he's choosing to fight. Yeah, he hurt his left hand. Timmy, you want to take us through that? Was that in the, was that in the fifth round? In boxing history, only the pound for pound best fighter in the world, Vasily Lomachenko, is better. Of course, he did in three, which is ridiculous. You may never see that beaten. By the way, Tim, in that last round, constantly all night, you know, it definitely bruises your hand. Let's see if he continues to use his left hand in this round. Keep him up, baby. Keep him up. Keep him up. Nice. Well, hands free. Hands free. A hopelessness with Carabao. He knew he would be outclassed, outskilled, mm. and he mm. goes down here there it is. in round number six. Halfway through round six, and he's reeling Never in shot. pain on the canvas. Shakur Watch the Stevenson just here, taking Tim. his time right now, setting up his punches. And he dips around with body shot, catches Carl Bio as he's actually trying to throw a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Weeks calls a stop to this bout at one minute, 31 seconds of round number six. Declaring the winner by technical knockout from Newark, New Jersey, Shakur Stevenson!